Ooh, hey guys, Chris with Nichols Retirement Empire. I'm going to tell you about my first day in college because um, this is the time of year when everybody's going to college and you may have some grandkids or kids or whatever that are going off to college for the first time and um, I'm going to tell you about my first day because <laughs> you know that mine's going to be really weird. Mine's going to be really unusual, crazy, all that kind of stuff. So, and it was. It was crazy. Uh, when I was in high school, uh, we didn't have guidance counselors. So, I didn't know when to apply for college and all that kind of stuff. So, I was late doing a lot of that. We looked up what is the cheapest school in the state of Georgia. And we found it. It was North Georgia College. Uh, North Georgia College had about 2,500 students. It was in Dahlonega, Georgia in a rural area in the mountains, um, small town, hardly anything in the town, you know, stuff like that. And, uh, you know, you know, well, why was it so cheap? Well, it was so cheap because it was the senior military school for the university system of Georgia. And if you were a male and you went there, you had to be in the, in the Corps of Cadets. So you had to be in the ROTC part. Uh, and I thought, well, you know, I'd handle that. I mean, how bad could that be? Because, um, I mean, it was so cheap. It was such a good deal. And so, uh, you know, I applied. I got accepted. But then they told me, well, you, you got accepted, but we don't have enough spaces for you uh, the first quarter. And because I had waited too long. And so at the beginning of school, what they would do is they would have a week where all the freshmen males would come down uh, before school started and they called it frog week and in frog week they would yell and scream and and you know try to break you down uh, to build you back up and uh, teach you all the things about how to march and how to hold a weapon and how to you know wear your uniform and how to salute and how to stand at attention and how to make your room uh, presentable for inspection and how to, I mean, you know, everything. They taught you everything during that week. It was like a crash course of military, how to be in JR, and not JRTC, but ROTC. So, um, I didn't get to go to that. So, they have that, and always when they have that, some people quit. They're, they decide, you know what, this is not for me. Uh, I'd rather pay more money and go to some other school than have people yell and holler at me and me have to salute some guy that's the same age as me. You know, all that. They didn't. I'm not going in the army, so I'm not going to do this. So after people quit, that's when they call other people up and they go. And, you, and so they call me up on the phone. And I remember I was in. Of course, I was in the kitchen. That was that was where the phone was. There was only one phone. <laughs> so anyway, the phone rings. You know, and I'm at home because I'm not at college. Uh, and so I answer it, and um, they say, hey, can you be down here tomorrow? Uh, if you can, we can get you a schedule, and we can get you in class uh, the next day, and, uh, and we'll get you started, and, you can, you know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, that'd be great. You know? Now, I didn't have anything ready. I didn't have any stuff. And I said, well, listen, what all, I mean, uh, what, what all do I need? And they're, they're like, well, bring a footlocker and put some clothes in it, and uh, that's all you're going to need. I'm like, really? That's it? I mean, I mean, do I need to get a parking permit from it? No, nope, you don't need a parking permit because you can't drive your car. <laughs> said, Great. Uh, okay. So uh, my dad couldn't get off work, so we had to find somebody that could drive me down there. So we found somebody, and it was about a maybe two and a half hour drive from my house to Dahlonega. So he takes me down there. So we show up to the place, to, you know, to where I'm supposed to go. And... They uh, start giving me all this paperwork to fill out. You know, we need to check for all your classes you're going to take. Here's your class schedule. Uh, here's this. Here's that. Here's your uniforms. You know, here's a class A uniform. Here's a class B uniform. Here's a class C uniform. Here's a class D uniform. Here's your boots. Here's your shoes. Here's your so <laughs> I start late. You know, they start issuing. Here's your post office box. Here's, you know, what company you're going to be in. Here's your room number you're going to be in. Here's the key. Here's the key to your post office box. Here's the, you know, uh, here's your, uh, we're going to issue an uh, M1 uh, uh, rifle down here. And I'm like, an M1 rifle? What, are we going to be shooting people? You know? <laughs> of course, it didn't have a firing pin. But we had to use that to drill. That's a World War One rifle. <laughs> and so, 
you know, you got your, you know, that issued to you. Uh, all right, come on back here. We're going to cut your hair. I'm like, you're going to cut my hair? I just grew this hair. <laughs> cut my hair, you know. Uh, and I just remember, and they're like, okay, uh, what about all the stuff on this list? And I'm like, what list? I didn't have no, you got, y'all called me yesterday and told me to come down here. Well, you need to buy all the stuff on this list. So you're thinking, okay, this must be some kind of special list, you know. And so they hand it to me, and it was like, you know, three pair of shoestrings, a white pair, a black pair, uh, you know, a, a, a brown pair in the packet, you know, uh, six white handkerchiefs, uh, four white t-shirts, six pair of white underwear, um, one toothbrush, one bar of soap, one bottle of Bresso, one black comb, one, <laughs> you're looking at it, you're like, what do I need all this junk for? And so I went and bought it and uh, came back to the school. So I'm sitting here with all this crap and thinking, is this the right? Did I do the right thing? And um, they called a, a cadet to come down there to get me. And they said, uh, Mr. Nichols, this is Mr. So-and-so. Uh, he's going to carry you up to your room, Bravo Company, you know. And I'm like, <laughs> This is the first time I had been on this campus. This is the first time I had been to Dahlonega. Uh, I got a college class tomorrow. I I've never been in a college class before, you know. And, uh, you know, so I, I get with this guy, and it's first day. Now, this is all the first day. So the guy is helping me carry all my crap up to the to the room. Uh, you know, they take me down. the Now, of course, this is a military dorm. So there's, like, nothing. The, the halls look like they were shining. <laughs> they were so bright and clean. You know, the walls were all nothing on any wall, you know. Uh, you go into the room, you know, first time going into a college dorm. Opens up the door. Here's my roommate sitting there. I've never met before in my life wearing his little uniform looking miserable. Uh, and then I go walking into the room and there's like nothing. There's a desk attached to the wall, two drawers, two chairs, one window, no air conditioning, uh, two bunk beds with some little mattress about that thick, um, a dresser, a mirror above the dresser, and then two open holes that was the closet. And that was all that was in the room. There wasn't any, po you couldn't have a poster on the wall until you were a sophomore. You could have a stereo on the desk. You could have one item on the desk. Um, and it was the stereo which I didn't happen to have stereo with me because I just got called the day before. Uh, so you had that. You had one phone. Uh, there was one of those black cordless phone or cordless. There was a black rotary phone sitting there on the desk, and both of you shared that phone, and it was the number to the room, same number every year. You didn't get a, your own number. Um, so it was sitting there. So that was nice. We had a phone. Of course, there's no television. There's no computer. I didn't use a computer the whole time I was in college, ever. I mean, we didn't even have computers. Um, I'm sure there was one in the media center or something, a library that you could use if you knew how to use one for, if you needed to use one, which nobody did. So uh, I go walking in there, and they're like, you have inspection in the morning at 6 o'clock, and shut the door. <laughs> I'm like, oh, my God, what is this? And I'm looking at that guy, and I'm like, well, what was, he's like, let me, let me show you how to, so he showed me how to hang all. You got to hang everything up exactly the way I got it. Okay, so I hung everything up. You got to put your shoes in a, a row. You know, we got to make the bed. And I'm like, well, how do you do that? So you you had to take the bed entirely off of the rails, uh, put it together with the military blanket and the white sheet, but you know, and all that, and and then pick it up and put it back on the rail. And I was like, my God, we got to do that every day. And he said, oh no 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 no, you don't do that every day. He said, we make it up and then we sleep on top of it. Oh okay. <laughs> Yeah, you don't get in the bed. I'm like, okay, well that makes sense. So we figured that out, and then I'm like, well, what about all this crap here? And okay, you got these two drawers, and so he'd open the drawer. You got to have, you know, here's mine. So you'd had to have six pair of underwear in a row, rolled up a certain way, six pair of t-shirts, you know, this many black socks, this many white socks. You know, it was just like, oh my god, you know. But it was crazy, and it, and, and I'm not even gonna get into what. That's the first day. Okay, that was my first day in college. I remember laying on the bed that night thinking, what in the world have I done? I have messed up. This is horrible. I'm not, and did I mention, I'm not going into military. I, I was never planning on going into the military. Um, so that was quite a shock to my system. So uh, for you people that have relatives going off to college the first day, 
try to help them out and maybe it won't be as traumatic as my first day was and then I'll tell you some more stories about kind of what happened from there because that was a crazy place now um, I have a lot of North Georgia college stories uh, anyway if you went to North Georgia holler at me um, and if you had a college experience like that your first day let me know because I, I maybe I won't feel so alone but uh, anyway 